Last week, you learned to model data so that leadership can trust the numbers. Now it's time to make sure that you can trust your own code because messy pipelines don't just break, they break careers. This week, we are mastering the Pragmatic Programmer. It teaches you to write maintainable, high-quality code that won't wake you up at 2 a.m. when a one-off job comes back to haunt you. Think of bad code like a junk drawer. Every quick fix makes it harder to open. This book shows how small habits, good naming, removing hard coding, using configuration, turn that chaos into craftsmanship. One underrated lesson is treat every quick fix like it will reoccur. If you make the code self-documenting and consistent today, you're going to save hours in the next incident that occurs. Your drill. Refactor one job that you own now. Move magic values into configuration files, standardized names, and add one small comment explaining why you use the logic that you ended up using. That is maintainability in action, and you're going to thank yourself six months from now. In interviews, you could say that we cut rework by documenting conventions and building a small config loader. Follow-up changes took minutes instead of days. That is going to be impact that they remember. Here are some practice interview questions that I want you to go out and answer in front of a mirror. How do you make sure that your pipelines are maintainable when ownership changes? What's your approach to balancing fast fixes with long-term quality? Now, this book is great to listen to on the go. Listen, use my link down below to start your free Audible trial and listen while you cook, commute, clean, whatever the case may be. Turn that downtime into dev time. Your week six mission, post one improvement that you made while refactoring that code. Next week, we're going to tackle data governance and learn how to make your AI initiatives safe, auditable, and fundable.